Hello and welcome to the session of programming in C. In this session, you will be introduced to C programming, its efficient features and its basic structure. C is a procedural programming language which was developed by Dennis Ritchie. It was basically developed for writing system level applications and hence the popular operating system Unix has been developed. Today, the market is being led by two most popular languages, Java and Python. Having said that, the demand for C language has not come down a bit. The reason behind this is its extensive usage in the development of operating and embedded systems. The syntax of C language is very easy and can be efficiently used to develop many system level applications. In fact, it is used as an introductory programming language that is taught at the beginner level of problem solving. Modularity is a technique of breaking down a larger program into several fragments. Now C language allows the program to be broken down into smaller units which can be run individually with the help of functions. Now the next feature of C programming is its portability. Now the same fragment can be run in different environments. Now C programs can be run on different platforms with or without modifications, which makes the language more portable. As C is a compiler based language, it is faster than Java or Python, which are interpreter based. The difference between uh, the compiler and the interpreter is that compiler takes the whole program as its input and then produces the output, whereas interpreter takes instruction by instruction as its input and then produces the output. Also, C language has many inbuilt functions in its library. It also allows the user to define his own functions and then add them to the library and use his own functions in implementation. C language uses dynamic memory allocation which utilizes and manages the memory. The data structure can be manipulated by several functions like CALOC, MALOC, realloc and free functions of C language. Also, C is a case sensitive language, meaning a lower case character is different from a higher case character. For example, a lower case letter X, that is small x, is different from the higher case X, which is a capital X. So C is a highly case sensitive language. The basic structure of C program consists of six main sections, which are documentation, link, definition, global declaration, main and sub program sections. The documentation section is the first section of the C program. Now, these are the set of comment lines which are included in between the delimiters here. So these are the two delimiters which we can see. Any lines uh, which are included in between these two delimiters are considered as comments. Now the documentation section usually consists of these set of comment lines which will give the overview of the code. It can be a description of the program or it can be a logic of the program. You can write the author name, you can have a file name, etc. Now these uh, comment lines can be included anywhere in the program as long as they are included in between the delimiters. The next section that we have is the link section. Now the link section provides instructions to the compiler to link functions from the system library. For example, if we are using a mathematical function called as square root, then we have to declare a header file which is called as hash include math.h. Here we have declared a header file called as hash include stdio.h. That means the program is capable of using all the standard input output operations which are included in this particular header file. 
in this section all the constants whose value do not change throughout the program can be defined now these constants can be defined by using hash define now pi is the constant whose value has been assigned as 3.14 now whenever i am using this constant pi the value of pi will be replaced by 3.14 there are many variables which are used throughout the program now variables can be both locally declared or can be globally declared local variables are those variables which are used within that particular function global variables or global functions are such which can be accessed throughout the program now the declaration of global variables or the local variables doesn't change except that the global variables are declared before main function or the main section in the global declaration section so here if you observe area is a global function and a is an integer variable which is a global variable both area and the variable a can be accessed throughout the program every c program needs to have a main function and each main function consists of two parts which is declaration part and execution part declaration part is where all the variables are declared for example when you see or observe this example you have the main function defined by using the main keyword now int a is equal to 10 is the statement where the variable a is declared now the execution part begins with the curly open brace and ends with the curly close brace now both variable part or the declaration part and the execution part must be included within the curly brace sub program section is the section where we define all the user defined functions here in the example we have a user defined function add now this is a user defined function which can be called anywhere within the program and this user defined function add will return its value to the called function this is a sample program which demonstrates all the sections first is the documentation section here the comments have been included within the delimiters now next is the link section where header files are included here is the definition section where num is a constant which has been defined with the value 20 here is the global declaration section where int function has been declared this is the main section where both declaration and executable parts can be seen here is the sub function which is defined so function here is a global function which is declared in the global declaration section and defined after the main function this is a simple c program to display a statement the first line is a single comment line and thus i am using a backslash symbol here next we have a header file which is included which is a standard input output library then we have a main function here and the return type of main function is void meaning it is not returning any value next we have a open curl brace which indicates the beginning of the main function then we have a printf statement printf is a function which is an standard output function now here whichever string that would be included within the double quote will be displayed on to the output console now every variable and executable part of the main function has to be terminated with a semicolon now get ch here is a function which holds the output value the ending curling brace indicates that this is the ending of the main function so every c program must have a main function with a beginning curl brace and ending curl brace 
This is a program to check the eligibility to vote. The logic behind the program is to display a statement that whether you are eligible to vote or not eligible to vote. If the age is less than 18, then you are not eligible for voting. If the age is greater than 18, then you are eligible to vote. So we have a main function here where num is declared as an integer variable. You are displaying a statement onto the console to enter the age. The value is read through a scanner statement here. Then if the value of num is less than 18, then you are displaying a statement that you are not eligible for voting. Else you are displaying a statement that you can vote. This is a program to add two variables. So we have a variable a and we have a variable b both a and b has to be added and then the value of a plus b has to be stored in another variable which is c and then we have to display the value of c so firstly i am declaring three variables a b c here then in the first printf statement i am entering the value for a and then that value will be read through a scanf statement here. Next, I am entering the value of B and that value will be read through a input standard input function scanf again. Then both A and B will be added and the value will be stored in the variable C. And then lastly, I am displaying the statement that sum of A and B is C. Thank you and we reached the end of the session.